Hi there, in this video we'll learn about these homogeneous functions. Primarily we should do the etymology of this word. Uh, it is um, stemming from Greek word which is homogeneous and homos means same and genos means race or kind. It means that there is similarity in the type of something. But here we are not talking about any race or kind, we are talking about the degree of the term because we are talking about a function and the salient feature of a function is the degree of the term involved in it. Let us assume that there is a function that is z is equal to this. A function uh, has z as the dependent variable, x and y as the independent variables and it is considered homogeneous if each term involved has the same degree. So, if each term has the same degree, let us see how this can happen. And with the help of a polynomial of a degree n, we can do this. We have uh, this nth degree polynomial, n, then n minus 1, and the other variable that is y is now getting the power of n or the degree of n. So, it started with the degree of x. Now, what we can see is that x has a power of n. Here n has a power of n, so the degree is n, but in these terms the power is also n if we add the values of the powers. That is n minus 1 plus 1 will become n, n minus 2 plus 2 will become n. So the, this is a homogeneous function because the degree each, in each term is the same and that degree is n. Now we check this in mathematically and this is the function and we are going to use this function to verify if it is a homogeneous function or not. So what we do is that we introduce a scalar, um, for example lambda on both sides. This is the procedure of it. So uh, z bar, now it's a new function because a scalar has been introduced in it, it's not the same function. So we write scalar that is lambda with both of the variables and on the other side wherever the variables are appearing we are going to write lambda with them. So with x we write lambda and with y and here again. So uh, we introduce this lambda in all of these terms and now we, what we are doing is we are trying to factor out lambda. So you can see that we have extracted lambda from uh, these various uh, terms and uh, you can pause the video and see these simple steps. Till now we can see that lambda 3 is now appearing in both of these equations uh, terms so we can take it as a common factor. Lambda 3 comes out and when we look at the remaining term it is actually z that is the original function. So it means that now the function has become lambda cube times of the original functions function. So this is how we can say that this function z was homogeneous and it was homogeneous of degree 3 because we look at the power of the scalar and if it is 2 for example it becomes a degree 2 and if it is 1 then it becomes a degree 1. So the degree of homogeneity is 3. We can also call it that this function z was homogeneous of degree 3 in variables x and y. This is DIY for you, you can do it yourself. Uh, we can see that if the given functions are homogeneous or not and if they are homogeneous then of what degree. So this is one example that you can do for yourself and this is another example. So here you will introduce lambda here and here and lam lambda will be included in this bar and in this bar as well. Here lambda will be introduced and here it will be introduced. It will be very interesting to solve because lambda here and lambda there will be cancelled out and lambda will have the power of 0 so it will be homogeneous of degree 0 and you can also experiment with this um, function as well. So this is how we find the homogeneity of a given function which is useful in considering various economic concepts like returns to scale in the production function. 
that we will see in the remaining lectures but this was basically an understanding of what homogeneous functions are mathematically speaking thank you